Hi, good morning, hello, how are you? It is Jim, it is Thursday. Um, short video today. I've uh, been busy today, got lots of things to do and rushing around. So I thought, well, I don't think I can actually fit in an album. I probably can't do a cast, gu cast iron guarantee, certainly not a mixtape. Um, uh, there is a pressing matter of a single song that has been requested by Greg P. Now, I think this is probably... I'm trying to sort of recall back. Uh, this is, I think, this is on the back of uh, the Van Halen record, which you listened to a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I think I'm just kind of just paraphrasing a little bit what Greg was saying here. So, if you really, really, really wish to continue your guitar exploration, there is no better place than to go <laughs> to than this, which is uh, a Scorpions or just Scorpions sales of. I think it's Sharon or Charon. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but uh, it's probably something that I should know, but I don't. So I can't tell you what the what the correct pronunciation is. Anyway, this is uh, Scorpions from it's a TV appearance, uh, 1978, and I think other people have um, had this on their channel, so it should be okay, I reckon. Arr. Let's just see if... Uh, Greg says anything else. I was checking my emails here. Uh, yeah, so he said uh, the, uh, they only ever performed this song once on German TV, and it was a backing track, so I don't foresee any copyright issues. Many have reacted to it. Anyway, since I sent the message, uh, prepare, sorry, no, blah, blah, prepare thyself for <laughs> Uli John Roth is about to rock your guitar world. <laughs> we shall see. Right. I do know some Scorpions. I It's a, it's a band which... Um, another one of these bands which I followed a little bit but sort of didn't delve deeply into because when you're a sort of a 12-year-old or 13-year-old or however old it was when I was sort of getting into this metal, there's only so much money you have to sort of spend on stuff. So I think most of my money went on Iron Maiden. But I did have... I had a Scorpions album... Um, I can't remember what it was called. Um, I knew the song Still Loving You, and obviously I knew the ones they did later, sort of Rocky Like a Hurricane. Um, but the, from the mid-late 70s, I don't know that much. So I, I'm certain I don't know this song at all. Um, but let's find out. Here we go. This is Scorpion's... On German TV in 19th, when I was eight years old, I was probably seven years old actually when this was on, uh, 16th of January. Yeah, I was, there's no way to be ever seen this. I was uh, seven years old. Here we go, three, two, one, pop. I wonder if that was, they clipped the beginning off that. Oh. Oh. Um. Wow. This is an instrumental track. No. Old having a guitar solo at the beginning of a song. Oh. 
this is absolutely one of my favourite eras of uh, of hard rock and metal. Just the ah, oh, so good. strange I can't believe I've never actually had any scorpions on the channel before oh here we go again Um, yeah, uh, it just reconfirms to me how much I love that era of, um, I was talking about it on the, uh, on the Van Halen record. It's just, it just brings back so many warm, happy memories of being 10, 11 years old and sort of snuggling under the duvet with headphones in listening to naughty radio late at night where they're playing this uh, Tommy Vance was playing all this stuff on on the Friday Rock Show and I kind of just I really miss it and um, I, had, I'd, I had forgotten about Scorpions I really had um, I'm just trying to remember what the name of the album was I had I don't know I don't, don't think I've still got it anymore but it had a picture of a, a guy smashing his head through a plate of glass I think with uh, like some looks like forks stuck into his eyes a really really bizarre album cover but uh, um that was that was the one that i had um what was it called oh that's gonna bug me you're all gonna tell me in the comments i know so <laughs> i won't have to wait very long um greg that is superb that guitar playing uh was beautiful i like i really enjoyed the uh composition of the song as well so it was like back to front having that sort of uh massive guitar solo sort of front loaded um, I don't know quite why they'd have done that. It's maybe it's just literally just to try something different. But it was, um, it was. I really like that. I thought that was a really, really clever idea. Great sound uh, coming from the old Fender Strat there. That's the same as um, Dave Murray uses in Iron Maiden. He's a Fender Strat guy. Um, but uh, it's uh, uh, a great band that I I owe it to myself to to listen to more of. So. I will be buying some vinyls because I know that um, Rudy, you've got some uh, scorpions coming up. I think in uh, without I'm not going to sort of let the cat out of the bag, but I think there's some scorpions coming up with uh, something that you've asked for, and I suspect that I want to listen to some anyway. So there we go, Greg. Thank you so so much. Um, I'm sorry it's a little short video today, but I haven't got a great deal of time to do massive amount today. But there we go. That is uh, sales of. Sharon or Charon, uh, pronounce it as you will, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. I was, I, I, I love this era of music. It's just fantastic. Thanks so much. Right, I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim over and.